the dreaded crawl hole in the garage. You're in luck. You know why? Because I'm going to put an attic ladder right there. Yeah. They want to get some of this stuff here out of the way. The guy that, that lives here, he draws and he does paintings and he, and he does really good stuff. And he's going to kind of make this area over here into a little art gallery, you know, at his house. And so we're going to put some stuff up in that attic, but we need to get that ladder in there. That ladder's going to angle down and it's going to land down here. Check this out. These are my boots. I'll bet you you've never seen me in boots. These are my boots that I used to wear on the mainland seven years ago. I don't think I've had them on. This feels really constricting, you know, but <laughs> I can't wear my flip-flops on here. This is, this is construction work, baby. Okay, this is what we're doing. See this? This ladder, 375 pounds, and this is a universal fit, 8 to 10 feet. And that means eight. your ceiling, 8 foot to 10 foot ceiling. So I measure this, this is a 10 foot ceiling. You'll always have to measure before you get your attic ladder at the store. Now I did a little probing up there before to make sure that the ceiling joists were going in the proper direction and all that and that it's going to fit. That's the first step you got to do is make sure that it's going to fit, do some checking. You might even have to go to the store, look at the directions on the back side of the uh, roof ladder, you know, the foldable extended ladder and do some checking out, you know. And that's what I've done. I'm going to get up there and show you around. Sometimes I do things on the fly, okay. I wasn't planning on do this, doing this, like I said. I'm going to do this fast, and hopefully you're going to catch all this. And if not, I'll probably end up doing another one for somebody else later on down the road. And I'll take a little bit more time at it, okay? You ready for this? Here it comes. Now sometimes where your crawl hole is, you don't have enough room to put your ladder. But here, see that's going to be extended. The top of the screen is going to come this way, okay? And then it's going to come straight down. You see there? Straight down. It's going to end up right in there. I think it's just going to barely miss the side of that cabinet. Straight up, okay? Then they'll still have enough room. If they wanted, if you wanted to put a car in here, you'd probably still have enough room. Put your car in here and put the ladder or, you know, drive your car out and, uh, Pull the ladder down and all that, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look up there now and make sure we got enough room. Okay, here's the rough opening size. 22.5 inches by 54 inches. And 22.5, that means a half an inch. So 22 and a half by 54 inches. And that's where our opening is. And see, this floor to ceiling height, 7 foot 8 to 10 foot 3. It's right on the outside of the box. Know your dimensions before you buy it, it says. Swing clearance, landing space. And heck, you've got an online video on this one, but you're not going to need that, are you? Okay, 22 and a half by 54 inches. Let's look. See what we got. Okay, I'm, I'm up here. I need 22 and a half inches. And see, from edge to edge. See this? I got I to gotta remove this sheetrock. Oh, hi, Cynthia. You making me some food? Yes. Thank you. There's, there's my meal there for my, my uh, energy. energy. You got an energy drink for me, too, I take it? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you very much. You. I, might, I might need your help after a while, but if I do, I'll holler. Okay, 22 and a half. You look over to here. And let's see here. Let me tape out. Okay, see there? Right there, 22 and a half to right there. Okay, I got 22 and a half. And incidentally, up here, you see these? These are trusses. See? How they're all connected with, with all these webbing things and stuff. You never, ever want to cut anything like this. So we know. It has to run in the bay from, from left to right on here. You can't cut one of those out. And those are two foot on centers, and so they're generally always 22 and a half inches in between. Okay, 24 inch centers. Hold that over, and there you go. Two, four, six, eight. Boom, boom, boom. 
See? They go up at an angle. You got those deals up there. And then they come down. And they've got another thing down there. Okay? So, 22 and a half. Now, look over on this side. This I'm facing the garage door now. Now, see, there's there's some 2 by 4s here. And, and this was nailed on initially to keep all the joists or the trusses uh, from moving around before they put the sheetrock on and stuff. I'm gonna have to cut that and it's a good thing there's no electrical in my way. I felt on there there's no electrical. If there was I had to cut that out I'd have to relocate some electrical wouldn't I? I'm gonna have to end up cutting this because I have to have enough room for the ladder to fit up in here right? Okay so this this 2x4 here is the framed opening there. Okay, I've got to take this sheetrock off and that 2x4 i got to take out. And then beyond that, you see, there's some boxes up there. There's plenty of room. Okay? If I measure that, it should be close to 22 and a half. If it's not exact, you can always, you know, if it's 22 and 3 quarters, 22 and 3 eighths, let's say, just shy of 22 and a half, you could take a 2x4, cut it 22 and a half, beat it in there, and wedge the joists apart you know the truss is just barely i mean if it's fits within reason okay because that's what we need so okay my first step is i've got to take this sheetrock out and why do i have to take the sheetrock what sheetrock am i talking about here let me get down here you see that's the sheetrock i'm talking about that edge band you see this band right here I have to take that out all the way around. I gotta be real careful because I don't want to rip the, the sheetrock down here. I'll, okay, so I'm gonna have to score that and rip that out so I can get that other 2x4 out. And then I've got to cut this sheetrock out. Man, I got a little bit of work to go before I can even get ready to think about installing that ladder. Man, glad you're here with me to help me. I'm gonna have to move those boxes too, it looks like. See, he's already got a little bit of stuff up here in the attic. Are attics really designed for storage? Not really. I mean, they're not load-bearing for storage. They're only load-bearing for the roof and for the ceiling and the in the in the garage. But you know, lots of people do it. I mean, you wouldn't want to stack too much stuff in here because, like I say, it's not really designed that way. However, these are roof roof uh, trusses. And you know they're two by four trusses, 24 inch centers, and uh, I wouldn't go too um, wild in here, you know, putting stuff up here. But you know, you make that decision. Why is there so much light up here? You know, there's no light switch up here. That's because I got my trusty construction light up here and, and see once they once they get the ladder what they could do see all these wires they could tap into a circuit here or something as they're going up they could they could put a light switch right there and they could run a wire up there and put a light up there and maybe run across and put another one over there you know something reroute the wires and stuff I've not done that on a video yet but you know and I'm not doing that on this one but never fear sooner or later I will I'm sure on someone's place. Okay. Well, Cynthia, are you gonna? Can you help me with this? I'll try. I want you to help me run the camera, okay? Because you want this oh done goodness. tonight, don't you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> if if I gotta run the camera and stop and up and down and all that, I usually can do that if I take all day or uh -huh. something. We're trying to get this done before Jeff gets home. Yes. What, yes. what time is that? Ten o'clock. Eleven yes, o'clock. Ten. What time is it? It's now um, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Three hours. There's prob I don't. I don't think I'm even going to get done by then. But um, that's okay. We we don't have to be done by the time Jeff gets home. But it's going to go a lot quicker if you can run the camera for me. It's real easy to do. Okay. okay? Well, I'll try. All right. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.